what's on the radio. Okay. And um, and at the same time, you know, there'll be re remixes of some of my songs, you know, that um, are a little, uh, probably might get their attention more so than maybe the raw right, original. Right, right. Like, who is that girl in Kanye's song? <laughs> <laughs> right. Who is that girl in Kanye's yeah, song? Yeah, so when, when Jay Z's on my record, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> um, so who, who, who are you listening to uh, yourself, like contemporary artists? Who are um, some of the people that you feel uh, are keeping uh, the wow. music alive? Well, there's a lot of them, and there's a lot of independent artists that people don't even know about right. yet. Um, there's, a guy, there's a guy named Cleveland Jones who is phenomenal, and you'll hear about him. He's just, he's just phenomenal. And again, I met him through social technology. It wasn't like that I know him personally, but I've, I've followed he and his producer's music and I just absolutely love it. Um, as far as artists that are out there, of course, Eric Roberson, um, Jill Scott, you know, um, Lettucey, oh my God, had an opportunity to see Lettucey in a show, in a show years before, you know, before she, the world knew her. And she's just, you know, she's just one of those artists that's just real. And it's, it's about the voice. And that's, that's what's important to me. I love, I love a, a nice voice and lyrics that make, you know, let's say something. So what's the second song that you're going to sing for us on this album? The next one will be Free, my single Free. Okay. Hip Hop Connection. used to be so free never worried about going outside to play hide and seek uh, how my things just ain't the same go to the market with a little change now even milk is cheaper than gasoline free yeah. uh, Donnie used to say that we're gonna all be all be free sense of peace and losing our way oh yes that was yesterday tell me when will it change this world must rearrange and stop to think about our babies yeah ooh, ooh. Donnie used to say that we're gonna all be all be free
Tell me about the song Free. Free in what sense? Well, um, free, you know, there's, there's a lot of different um, definitions to it. And I think we all have to de define what our level of freedom is. But when you think back to even Dr. King, his level of freedom was just, you know, so the kids could congregate together, could go to school together. Okay, well now, you know, now this day and age, we do have that, but there's still some things that we don't have right. still. We still have racism. We still have some inequalities in a lot of different areas. And quite frankly, um, freedom at the gas pump. Let's be, let's just be real. Gas is hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, you know, and that's when I started writing the song, you know, I was thinking about how high gas was. I'm like, man, you know, even milk is cheaper than gas. Like, what, what's, what happened? You have that line in the exactly. song too, right? Exactly, <laughs> so what happened? So it kind of started as a joke, but the reality is that that's really where we sit right you now. You know one line that is missing in there? Which one? The rent is too damn high. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true. <laughs> but this album yes. is, is, is doing well in Europe. Tell us a little it bit is. about that. How did you get to cross the ocean and you know, go into Europe? Honestly, it was a blessing because you know, it hasn't been out that long and we got support right away from the UK. I mean, they, um, there was a couple of DJs there. It started actually in the Netherlands. There was a DJ in the Netherlands that like heard it immediately through Facebook and immediately started putting it, started playing it as listeners started requesting it and it started moving up the charts there. And then as more attention started going towards the Netherlands and you know, some folks in London reached out to us. And so right now it's like in 17 different countries amazing. and it's just amazing That's considering, considering I am the label. This, you know, there is no corporate label. There is no, you know, corporate dollar right. you know Behind marketing you, right. this has all been word of mouth or you know through you but know, i guess part, part of it is is you know social media has has Absolutely. given uh, uh has given you the ability to to market yourself mm -hmm. in this new day and age mm -hmm. and you know of, of technology of this social media you don't need uh, big dollars behind you to put your music out absolutely. there absolutely you don't and and i'm grateful for that because had it not been for the fact that we have the ability to do that i probably would have been another one of those artists that just had music just sitting there and nobody never did anything and nobody would ever see it you right. know or nobody would ever hear it so um i'm grateful to have that opportunity to be able to put it out and really i only intended to release it digitally thinking okay well that's what people are doing now no one really wants a cd in hand anymore but we started getting calls and so we went ahead and, and started making hard copies for that very reason because there's some people that are still old school and want to have that cd true, in hand true true you know me <laughs> now you have uh this 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 has been a long project over 10 years that's yes, correct it has been over 10 years well, since what the next beginning. are you working on something well yeah i'm always working always writing um so i released this project i have another project with two of the producers uh, one of the producers that um produced um the song applications on my project they have a project coming out themselves so i'll be the feature vocalist on that um there's a soundtrack to a movie that just came out just this past week um so one of my other previous songs is on there so my thing is you know i i want to be um you know, I want to be in the in a space where I can just do the music that feels good to me, and if that means that I do a country album, then that's what I'll do. And, and hopefully, it can translate into listenership. You know, absolutely, people listen to absolutely. It. I mean, I I um I just appreciate again because of the social media. You know, I can reach out to folks that I may have not ordinarily have met or have never they wouldn't have run across my music, and um so you know my goal is to have songs in every genre possible. Except polka, but every <laughs> every every other one probably. Really? Yes. But soul still is. Soul, soul is still the foundation. Absolutely. The foundation. So I mean, even if I try to hide my soul, I can't. You'll sing to us, "Touch the Sky." Mm -hmm. Tell tell us about this song. Um, well, as you know, the name of the album is Love Infinity and part of the infinity part came from my son because he's always asking me about infinity. And so I wanted to show him also that my love runs infinitely, of course, but it also talks about the fact that, you know, love can cover in so many different topics. And I wanted to be able to do songs that I relate to, even though maybe I don't have that one person that I'm singing to just yet. But the idea is, um, you know, when you when you have that one person in your life and you, you just you, like nothing else matters, you know, you feel like you can touch the sky. You feel like, you know, the sky's the limit.